Hello, my name is Christian Book, and I'm uh, an experimental poet, and I am now, I suppose, the first human being in history to have ever uh, designed a microbe to write a poem. So the Xenotext is uh, my current project. It has involved me writing a very short poem, and then through a process of encipherment, I translate it into a sequence of genetic nucleotides. And then with the assistance of a laboratory, we actually build this gene in the lab and implant it into a bacterium, replacing part of its genetic code with my poem, so that the organism becomes, in fact, the living embodiment of my text. The poem I have written is actually read by the organism. It reads the gene sequence and interprets it as a set of instructions, and in response, it builds a protein, a protein whose sequence of amino acids, uh, this long chain of molecules, is in fact an encipherment for a totally different poem. In effect, I've genetically engineered a bacterium so that it becomes not only an archive for storing my poem, it also becomes a machine for writing a poem in response. The poem that I've written, I've nicknamed Orpheus, and its opening line is, any style of life is prim. Now the organism reads that line of poetry, and in response, uh, it writes a poem, which I have nicknamed Eurydice, so it reads the line, any style of life is prim, and in response it writes, the fairy is rosy of glow. Now when it writes that line of poetry, as uh, uh, an excerpt of the poem, uh, the protein that it produces actually causes the organism to fluoresce and glow red in the dark. So the poem that it writes actually talks about itself doing the very thing uh, that it does in the poem. Of course, I've been working on this project now for 14 years. Uh, I've managed to get the uh, construct to work properly and definitively within a colony of E. coli. This is only one stage in the process. The whole point of the exercise is to actually implant this poem not in E. coli, but in uh, a bacterium called Dinococcus radiodurans, a very strange surreal organism. What is uh, Dinococcus radiodurans? Uh, it is a mysterious organism uh, that is capable of surviving in all kinds of hostile environments. You can scorch it, freeze it, wither it, and it does not die. It can survive in the open vacuum of outer space. It can even survive a thousand times the dosage of gamma radiation that would instantly obliterate a human being. By putting my book, my poem, inside this little microbe, I could be writing a book that um, uh, outlasts terrestrial civilization, and it may in fact be on the planet Earth when the sun explodes. I am in effect trying to write a book that lasts forever.